we spoke to a biologist and he claims that our basic instinct is cooperation rather than competition. Suppose we regulate our society according to that principle. What would be wrong with that? Wh who's going to regulate? Politicians? Us, the people. <laughs> That's never worked. I mean, come on. Us, the bureaucrats? No, us, the bureaucrats. Us, the bureaucrats are smarter than us, the market? Your system is saying, oh, well, we're going to have some people in the capital who are smarter than everybody else, and they're going to tell us all what to do and how to live? That's never worked. If you can tell me any, any case where that has worked, then I will be more than willing to listen to your story. But so far, that's never worked. Countries that have built and become successful and rich have not done it through bureaucracy. They've done it through the unfettered human spirit. Entrepreneurship, call it what you will. Those are the countries that have done well throughout history. Why should we believe that capitalism as such would, uh, you know, get us somehow out of this mess? Well, capitalism could get us out of it. But capitalism is not being allowed to work right now. Had capitalism been allowed to work, we wouldn't be in this situation now. If back in 1994 or 1998 people had been allowed to collapse, we would not be, we wouldn't have had as the prosperity we had in the, the early part of this decade. Um, on the other hand, we wouldn't have the collapse that we have now. We had an artificial prosperity. Now we're having an artificial uh, an artificial decline, if you will. That's, that's government interference. That's not capitalism that caused that. Uh, it's the governments that didn't let capitalism work the way it should. But let, let's look, I, 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 I'm defending capitalism, but don't think that I don't know that capitalism has serious flaws and serious problems. But had the government stayed out of the way, the market, would, we would all be in better shape right now. Suppose we would say uh, what we are witnessing, in fact, is a war. A war of the rich against the poor. <laughs> I, know, I should have known you would come up with that, good socialist that you are. But it's nothing like that. No? What it is, it's, it's the people who are in this system, which is a faulty and corroded system, I keep trying to say to you. Yeah, yeah. It's, they're making mistakes because they're all trying to maintain their jobs, their power, they're whatever. They're saying it's okay, we want to keep our jobs, and our jobs maybe we're going to spend money we don't have. That's okay, they all want to keep those jobs, and they're going to keep their jobs until eventually the world is going to force a change in the system because the world's going to stop putting up money. Or the Dutch are going to, the taxpayers are going to say, I'm not going to pay for this anymore. But that's the market, that's part of the market.